Let's make an object return script in 90 seconds. The first variable that we're going to create is going to be called original position, and that one is going to be a vector. The next variable we're going to create is going to be called original rotation. That type is going to be a rotation, of course. So we are going to use that when world is started event. Go to the actions tab and you're going to grab a set interaction of self and put it right underneath there. And then you're going to want to set that to grabbable. Then if you go over to the values tab, you'll see set to. It should be at the top. And you're going to grab the original rotation and the original position and put that at the set to spot. Then if you go over to the values tab, you'll see position of self. Grab that and put it at the original position one. And then you're also going to see rotation of self. And you're going to want to put that at the original rotation one. Then go to the events tab and you'll see when grabbed by player. Drag that over and put that underneath the world start and underneath that you're gonna do the same thing with the interactions except this time you're gonna set self to both. Now go back to the events tab and you're gonna grab when released by player. And for that one, you're gonna wanna grab send event with delay. Go to the events and create a new event and I would call it return object or something like that. Now for the delay, you can choose how long you want it to take for the object to return back to the original spot. I would do something like two or three seconds. Now for when event is received, which is in the events tab, go to interactions and we're gonna set the object back to grabbable. Next, go to motion and you're gonna grab move self to and rotate self to. Grab original position and put it with the position and you're gonna grab original rotation and put it with the rotation one. So now we gotta grab an object. For simplicity's sake, I chose a roll of toilet paper. Gonna open up the roll of toilet paper, go to attach script, attach the object return script, change motion to interactive, and then this is complete. Now you don't have to worry about losing things that you might need close by. That would be pretty poopy.